so let's start the new topic pectoral lesion so it lies in front of the trunk anterior to the thoracic cage it connects the upper limb and anterior lateral part of the thoracic wall there are some major contents which lies in the pectoral region which includes the mammary glands the pectoral is major muscle subclavius muscle pectoral is minor muscle and the serratus anterior muscle along with the pectoral fascia and the clavipectoral fascia so clinically the thoracic and the pectoral region can be studied using the anatomical lines are there so first we have the mid sternal line the second is para sternal line and the third one is the mid clavicular line these all are the imaginary line this mid clavicular line passing through the middle of the clavicle tip of the ninth costal cartilage and the mid inguinal point now some more landmarks are there in which the first is the clavicle clavicle ek long bone hoti hai jo horizontally placed hoti hai aur throughout it, it is subcutaneous the second is the body of the sternum ye aapko isko breast bone bhi bolte hain aur ye thoracic case ka anterior pillar banati hai just superior margin of this body of the sternum we have the manubrium this manubrium ke jo superior margin hota hai usko bolte hain jugular notch now muscles are there the pectoral is major muscle you can see the latus mus dorsi which forms the posterior axillary fold this anterior axillary fold is formed by the pectoral is major muscle the last is the serratus anterior muscle similarly we have the three lines are there imaginary line which passing from the axilla these three lines called the anterior axillary line posterior axillary line and the middle axillary line you can see in the diagram ये तीनों लाइंस क्लिनिकल इंपॉर्टेंस होती है जब हम बात करते हैं थॉरेसिक रीजन के बारे में जो थॉरेसिक विसरा है लाइक like हार्ट है और लंग्स तो इन तीनों एक्जिर लाइंस का क्लिनिकल इंपॉर्टेंस होती है नेक्स्ट हम बात करते हैं सुपरफिशियल फेशिया की सो जस्ट बिनीथ दिस स्किन वी हैव द सुपरफिशियल फेशिया विच कंटेन्स द फैट लूज कनेक्टिव टिश्यू द क्यूटेनियस नर्व cutaneous blood vessels platysma and the breast now comes the cutaneous nerve supply so sternal angle sternal angle ke bare mein humne last lecture mein aapko padhaya tha jab humne sternum ke bare mein discuss kiya tha to sternum is made up by the three type of bones the above we have the manubrium in between we have the body of the sternum and just below to the sternum we have the zygoid process so the connect articulation between the manubrium and the sternum that particular articulation is called the sternal angle so sternal angle clinically uh, important landmark hai clinicians ke liye so the cutaneous nerve supply of pectoral region ki jab hum baat karte hain to skin above this sternal angle is supplied by the supraclavicular nerve skin below the sternal angle is supplied by the anterior and lateral cutaneous branch of second to sixth intercostal nerve whereas the floor of the axilla is supplied by the intercostal brachial nerve which is the lateral cutaneous branch of second intercostal nerve ye cutaneous innervation isliye important hai kyunki ispe mcg is questions banta hai secondly jab aap clinics mein jaoge axillary abscess ke cases aate hain patient aate hain to jab usko drain karna hota hai to you should know about this second intercostal nerve which lies in the floor of the axilla now comes to the talk about the deep fascia this diagram depict the lateral aspect of pectoral region okay so there are the two type of the deep fascia one is the pectoral fascia and another is the clavipectoral fascia so pectoral fascia it is a thin membrane which closely invests the pectoralis major attachment ki jab hum baat karte hain so above it is attached to the clavicle medially it attached to the sternum laterally it continue with the deep fascia of covering the deltoid muscle whereas below it is continue with the deep fascia of abdomen okay second fascia jo hai wo hai clavipectoral fascia ye important hai is pe theoretically uh, short notes bhi aate hain so it is another strong membrane 
which of the deep fascia which filling the gap between the pectoralis minor and the clavicle or it also covers the axillary vessels and the crowd of the brachial plexus attachment ki jahan pe baat karenge to above this fascia split to enclose the subclavius muscle and then become attached to the lip of the subclavius groove of the clavicle jab humne clavicle padha tha to inferior surface of the clavicle middle part of the inferior surface of the clavicle there is a groove that groove it's called the subclavius groove so the anterior lip and the posterior lip they gave attachment to this clavipectoral fascia between these two lips we have the subclavius muscle okay so always remember this clavipectoral fascia enclose first the subclavius muscle jab ye niche ki taraf aayegi to immediately it attach to the first or second intercostal cartilage and anterior intercostal membrane in between ab lateral ki baat karenge to it attach to the coracoid process and the coraco clavicular ligament theek hai so jo is deep fascia ka part hai medially extend karta hai from the first rib or laterally extend karta hai from the coracoid process this part of this fascia become thickened that particular part is called the costo coracoid ligament ye mcq is questions are there structure ki baat karte hain to jo clavipectoral fascia ko pierce karte hain so these are the terminal part of the cephalic vein jo outer side se aayegi deep isko pierce karegi deep ja kar ke axillary vein mein drain kar degi the lateral pectoral nerve obviously brachial plexus se aayegi and supply the pectoralis major muscle the thoraco acromial artery again it is the branch of the axillary artery jo deep se aayegi superficially supplied karega pectoralis major muscle ko and the efferent lymphatic vessels from the infraclavicular lymph nodes are there is pe short notes aata hai aapko ye do diagrams draw karne padenge aur this much part you have to write now comes to the muscle one by one so we have the four muscle basically which uh, related to this pectoral region one is the pectoralis major muscle pectoralis minor muscle subclavius muscle and the serratus anterior muscle hum jab bhi muscles ko revise karenge to ye manners hona chahiye like first we'll discuss about the location attachment innervation action relation and the clinical aspect so let's start the first muscle of pectoralis major muscle so pectoralis major muscle as the name suggests it is the muscle of the pectoral region as the name suggest it is a major muscle so it has two heads one is the clavicular head another is the sternocostal head so clavicular head jo clavicle se aayega to it arises from the anterior surface of medial half of the clavicle whereas the sternocostal head means sternum se aayega or costal cartilage se so the lateral half of anterior surface of sternum up to the six costal cartilages the second to six costal cartilages or below external oblique aponeurosis so insertion ki baat karenge so ye all fiber clavicular head or sternocostal fibers they get convergent to the lateral side and get inserted on the bicipital group lateral lip of the bicipital groove humne humerus padha tha wahan pe humne bataya tha ki bicipital group kya hota hai you can see now action ki baat karenge so the main action is adduction and the medial rotation of इनर्वेशन की बात करेंगे तो मीडियल एंड लेटरल पेक्टोरल नर्व जब हमने पेक्टोरल इस मेजर मसल को रिमूव कर दिया तो हमें इसके नीचे दिखाई देगा आपका क्लेवी पेक्टोरल फेशिया सो क्लेवी पेक्टोरल फेशिया आप इस डायग्राम में देख पा रहे हैं सबसे ऊपर ये जो पार्ट है ये है आपका सिफेलिक पेन जो हमने पढ़ी थी वहां पे सिफेलिक पेन पियर्स द क्लेवी पेक्टोरल फेशिया नाउ द सेकेंड मसल इज पेक्टोरल इज minor muscle as the name suggests it is related to the pectoral region it is a short muscle so basically it arises from the third fourth and fifth ribs near their costal cartilages and the fascia covering the external intercostal muscle insertion ki baat karenge so medial border and superior surface of the coracoid process action it protect the scapula innervation it is supplied by the medial pectoral nerve the next muscle is serratus anterior muscle serratus anterior muscle bahut important muscle hoti hai clinicians ke liye 
सेकेंड जो बॉक्सर्स हैं जो स्विमर्स हैं उनके लिए सेरेटस एंटीरियर मसल्स बहुत क्लिनिकली बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मसल होती है सो इट ऑरिजिनेटेड बाय द एट डिजिटेशन फ्रॉम अपर एट रिप्स एंड द फेशिया इंटरवेनिंग इंटरकास्टल मसल इन द मिड एक्ट लाइन ठीक है तो जो मिड एक्ट लाइन है वहां पे जो आपकी रिप्स है वहां से एट डिजिटेशन ये अराइज करती है इंसर्जन की बात करेंगे तो इट गेट इंसर्टेड ऑन द स्केपुला द कॉस्टल सरफेस ऑफ द स्केपुला उसका जो मीडियल बॉर्डर होता है वहां पे जाके इंसर्ट होती है तो सिमिलरली जैसे एट डिजिटेशन से अराइजेज होती है उसी तरह से ये एट डिजिटेशन से इंसर्ट भी होती है एक्शन की बात करेंगे तो ओवर हेड एबडक्शन ऑफ द आर्म इन द पुशिंग एंड पंचिंग एक्शन इनर्वेशन की बात करेंगे इंपॉर्टेंट इनर्वेशन है इसका लॉन्ग थोरेसिक नर्व और ऑल्सो कॉल द नर्व टू दस एंटीरियर मसल नर्व Which is the branch of the brachial plexus. ठीक है। तो basically हमने अभी दो मसल पढ़ी last pectoralis minor और pectoral serratus anterior मसल। दोनों के हमने actions almost similar हैं। तो इस पे short note आता है आपके winging of the scapula. So injury to the long thoracic nerve can cause paralysis of the serratus anterior मसल। अगर serratus anterior मसल paralyzed हो जाएगा, तो जो scapula जो protrude कर रहा है, वो hang करने लग जाएगा। so in this case, if a patient pushes a fixed wall, the medial part of the scapula become prominently visible on the back. This condition is called winging of the scapula. So that's all for the today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the anatomy of breast.